Okay. So in this blog, I'm going to be working on um, a piece that I was telling you about earlier in my intro blog called La Mia Turca, and this is a piece that I wanted to analyze by Monteverdi, and I will eventually do that um, I, whenever I have time. But um, right now, I'm just here to work through the piece, and I'm working through problems that I've been having. Um, yes, and I'll go on ahead and work through that for you. Where is my see it? Yes, um, another thing, um, this piece looks like it's in F minor, but it's really in, um, it's really in C mixolydian um, major, C mixolydian modal major, and mixolydian is just when you flat the seventh of your scale, um, for those who don't know, so I wanted to explain that, explain myself. <laughs> so whenever you hear me say mixolydian, you'll know what I'm talking about. But um, this is really in C mixolydian because um, the entire melody is um, sung around that note. So C is a tonic and um, and um, I really have to have really good breath support um, in this piece because um, it's sung in the higher registers for me and um, it's a really really good piece for me to to work on because I'm working my higher registers and um, I've been having problems with this piece singing um, just note to note to note to note like um, I was telling you earlier in my warm-ups um, instead of doing you know phrase you know instead of singing line 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 so I have to really really work at that um, I'm having to really really work at that right now but um, I will demonstrate this for you Okay, and I'm working through text too, so, <laughs> um, and I'll let, I'll have to let you know the translation of this piece a little later, but um, I'm just wanting to demonstrate, you know, uh, musically notes and, and music right now and how to work problems through and out, so. Um, <laughs> That's a, a version of what not to do, but um, you have to push through um, your high notes so that way the phrase can be, um, you know, sung the way that it's supposed to be sung. So I've just mainly been doing, um, singing my phrases on awe, by the way, so that way I can concentrate not on the notes, note by note by note, but on the phrase as a whole. And um, the main thing that I've been letting trip me up are the consonants with these words. So I have to really be mindful of that. So, um, okay, I'm gonna keep on working Oz until I think I can sing words for you. So I'm gonna go on ahead and do that now. Sorry. <laughs> uh. to note to note and I've got to start doing phrases so um, yes I was doing this yesterday and I was able to do phrases and work through it just fine so I'm gonna see if I can get there today <laughs> uh,
thing too is that I'm trying to make my um, vowels a little bit too dark, so that's the um, that's the whiny sound that you're hearing right now, and um, I apologize for that. But um, I know I sound whiny. <laughs> so I've just got to. I think I'm thinking about everything too much. Whenever I'm able to distract myself and not think and move around and you know just do silly stuff, I just hit a chair with my hand, um, and just do silly stuff while I sing, then um, I tend to do really well with that because, and I tend to open up the back of my throat because I'm distracting myself from concentrating on you know everything too hard to where it's it's stopping me from you know, being free in, in the back of my throat and while I sing and everything. So maybe I can try that and get a little bit out of myself this morning. <laughs> Whatever it takes to have an open throat. <laughs> There's no correct way to having an open throat. Just do whatever feel com feels comfortable to you. You know, um, there's all kinds of um, vocal exercises out there and warm-ups um, that you can vocalize on um, to find the spacing that you need um, in your mouth and in the back of the, to keep the back of your throat open. So um, always keep that in mind. So um, I'm going to move around a little bit and I'm going to try and get to um, having a good space in the back of my throat and in my mouth and everything. So bear with me. resonance in my voice. I've just, ugh, I've just got to push through each note. My goodness. Um, Lord, help me get there. Um, Noticing when I was singing, um, the words are on the doppio mio marto rolan gwen gwen. So I'm looking at a G U E N, and this song is in Italian, by the way. I'm sorry, I meant to say that at first, but um, G U E N, but it's pronounced um, G W E N. So um, in order, uh, I was noticing that I wasn't um, doing something right there. Um, Yes, I need to breathe more at the beginning of that um, when I sing that word. So um, I'm going to demonstrate that again for you, and I'm going to sing that line over again to see um, what it is exactly that I did. Um, 
Instead of when you have long words to sing like that and you have long phrases to sing, make sure that you don't um, exasperate and use all your air at the beginning of the phrase. Um, so I noticed that I was doing that a little bit more, and I was running out of breath toward the. That's why I was running out of breath toward the end of the toward the end of that phrase. So I'm going to try it again, and I'm going to try and get my um, breathing right. So thank y'all for being so patient. I'm sorry. I know it sounded a little bit whiny, but. Uh, I am, yes, it's just a matter of having to push through, um, you know, all that and um, just knowing what to do. So I was, yes, I will be able to do that. Um. <laughs> So, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm still, either way I do it, I still run out of air um, at the end of that. So, um, a lot of times you just have to do um, separate breathing exercises to work through that spot. So, um, I'm just going to have to um, get on these breathing exercises when I vocalize and when I warm up. So, um, yeah. But I did do better at the beginning of my phrase, and I did not, um, I did not use... Um, nearly as much air <clears throat> at the beginning of phrase. Another thing is when you sing, you sing the way that you speak. We don't talk like this. We don't talk airy. We talk normally and we know how to use um, our breath because it's a natural thing. So we want the same thing to, um, you know, to go over into when we are singing. Um, we need to do the exact same thing. It doesn't take, you know, a ton of air and if you feel like you're doing too much, then you know that you're singing in an unhealthy way. So um, that's one thing that I'm having to pay attention to today. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm doing, I'm concentrating on my space so much to where I'm doing too much, you know, um, when I sing. And um, it's causing some weird things to go on, like the, you know, the whininess um, when I'm singing these high notes and everything. So. Um, I apologize, but, um, you know, it's something to work through, um, day by day and each day, you know, you're at a different spot and, and every single time that you practice, um, you'll be able to get, um, more consistent in the sound that you're wanting to, um, give off and you'll be able to have, um, a, a consistent resonance in your voice. So, um, that's what I'm working on. Um, you want to be there when you sing, you know, not try to get there. So, um, yeah, I'm getting there today. <laughs> but, um, you know, as, as singers, we each have to work on that. So, no matter how experienced you are, <laughs> you've still got stuff to work on. Um, let me see. So, I'm going to try that line again. I'm going to sing it again. So. <laughs> I'm going to try and sing a little softer. Whenever I go back and whenever I sing a little softer, then I'm able to open up a bit more and I'm able to um, to have more breath support that way and things just tend to go better because um, I'm not doing way too much. So, um, okay. I'm going to try that and we'll see. Um,
tomorrow. Oh. Okay, so when I was softer, um, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to think through things. Um, I apologize if this is weird and awkward for you. But um, I'm just I'm just thinking when I'm singing, just let me think. But um, I am thinking about um, whenever I sing softer, I um, just now I had a better tone in my voice, I think. Um, it still sounds a little um, straight tone in the back of my throat, um, but I did have, it was better. So um, just keep that in mind, you know, if you feel like you are overworking a piece that you're working on, make sure that you, you know, just step back, you know, and just, you know, think about what you're doing and um, if you have to sing a little bit softer to get there, then that's okay too. So um, just keep that in mind. So I'm going to go on to the next phrase. And it's pretty much the same phrase throughout the whole entire piece. So I'm going to just keep on, keep on working it. And I'm just going to keep on practicing like I would, you know, by myself. And um, as I come across things and as I notice things um, in the way that I pronounce um, these words and if I'm letting consonants stop me, I'm just going to keep on, you know, telling you, you know, the problems that I'm coming across and we're going to work them out together. So I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, so the next phrase is Per la cura in tene rir non mi vol vol nel mio mol. And um, on the words with um, with the L's at the end, I have to be really, really careful and um, to not let that stop my sound and to not um, let that stop me, my voice from resonating properly because um, because words that have L at the end and, let me see, um, like closed vowels, like A, A vowels, you can tend to concentrate too much on the A, you know, at the end of the, the like Y sounding, um, you know, sound at the end of that vowel to where it trips you up on, um, on the space um, that you are, you know, in the back of your throat and stuff like that. So um, just make sure that you don't do that. Don't let consonants trip you up. Um, don't let consonants mess you up, excuse me, um, in what you're trying to accomplish in singing through your phrases. So um, I'm going to try that right now. And per la cu da in tene rear, rear, that can. Um, that can stop the sound, you know, like that. And um, another good thing that I like to do is I like to sing through my vowels and um, do that that way. Um, so I'm going to try that. at all. I just, um, another thing that my teacher always tells me is um, when I'm, I'm sorry, I'm looking down at the time, but um, it's it's 12.10. <laughs> um, I have a lesson in like 20 minutes. So anyway, <laughs> one thing that my teacher says um, whenever I'm singing scales is um, since I tend to be choppy and sing, you know, like each note and, you know, instead of, ah, you, d you gotta um, connect it somehow. So um, she would just, you know, um, say to do something like, you know, so just, you know, having that kind of, you know, feeling to your, to your notes and everything. If you're having a problem with that, that's a good, good solution to do, um, as you heard from 
the way that I was singing just now. Everything was a whole lot more open. Um, I was actually getting through the phrase. Um, the back of my mouth was open. Everything was completely open, and it was a way that it, I was, it was supposed to sound.